you ready to praise God tonight? Give the Lord a shout. Go ahead, Sutu.
let's rejoice tonight let's give God a shouting ovation praise the Lord let somebody shout a lot hallelujah amen in your voices thank you for those wonderful songs and I personally want to thank you for singing the songs to an end you know not jumping from one song to another some of us like to sing certain song to the end and thank you very much for holding that tonight the Lord Amen. will increase your anointing in Jesus name Amen. let's close our eyes as we pray father will bless your name tonight we give you all the glory thank you for sparing our lives thank you for keeping us thus far thank you for helping us things we couldn't do for ourselves you came true for us we told all the glory to you in the name of Jesus Amen. we have come again one more time tonight to have an encounter father encounter us tonight Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. let every reproach become a thing of the past Amen. let every delay be cancelled let the doors be open Amen. let it be a way Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. is there anyone here that been stagnated for long tonight let that person advance Amen. thank you father because you will do more Amen. in Jesus mother name We'll be taking our Bible reading in this call to worship from the book of Psalms 68. Psalms 68, which I'll be reading responsively from verse 1 to verse 19. Meaning that we'll read verse 1 and you read verse 2 and we'll continue in that order. Psalm 68, verse 1. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yea, let them exceedingly rejoice. Sing to God. Sing praise to His name. Exalt me and pray like upon the heavens. My and rejoice before Him. A father of the fatherless and a judge of the widows is God in His holy habitation. O oh God, when thou wentest forth before thy people, when thou did march through the wilderness, thou, O oh God, did send a plentiful rain, whereby thou did confirm thy inheritance when it was weary the law gave the word great was the company of those that published it though ye have lain among the pots yet shall ye be as the wings of a dove covered with silver and her feathers with yellow gold the heel of god is as the heel of basham and high heel as the heel of basham The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai, in the holy place. Verse 19, let's read together. Blessed be the Lord who daily loaded us with benefits, even the God of our salvation. For emphasis, let's read verse 1 together. One to go. Let the God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let him also that hate him flee before him. 
so shall be our experience tonight in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Our hymn tonight says, Rock of Ages. As we take the Holy Communion tonight, we believe God that whatever is our heart desire, will He will answer in Jesus' name. Stanza one. Rock of ages, clap for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from the river side which flow be of sin that of service tonight and I want to encourage you to have high expectation and I pray that tonight your expectation your desire shall be granted in the name of Jesus amen. you will not go back the same you came amen. say better amen. amen we have three brethren who want to testify to the goodness of God in their lives please encourage them by putting it together as I call their names honorable Mrs. Ajayi Honorable Mrs. Ajayi, Honorable Brother Frank, Honorable, are you clapping for Jesus? Honorable Brother Frank, 
Honorable Dickness Funke. Honorable Dickness Funke. Please, no song. Two minutes. Tell us what the Lord has done. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. Um, I'm here to testify to the glory of God over my life, over my marriage. Um, while I was um, watching the service online on Wednesday, while Mrs. Jackie was giving her testimony, then I reflected back to my, my deliverance also some years back because I remember that if not for God and if not for GKC, I'm sure I would have separated with my husband because my own case was I was just the man that I love so much. Not that my husband is perfect, but he's a very cool man and he loves me. We love each other, but sometimes I'll just wake up and I'll eat him so much. I'll eat him that I want to pack my bag and leave him alone. So, um... And not that I'm violent also, but I'll just wake up and eat him for no reason. So daddy heard about this and then to the glory of God, God delivered me. And today I, lo I love him every day. I love him every day. And to the extent that I'll tell him that, um, uh, that I will grow old with him. That we will die together. That I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> this is a man that I'll just wake up one day because there's this particular dream that I usually have back then. So once I wake up and I set my hands on him, I'll hate him so much. And but now I wake up every day to love him. I love him, love him, love him, love him. Love him. Praise God, church. Praise God, church. No shame. Indeed, we are serving a great God. This month, devil brought in a lot of trial, temptation, turbulence. But I just want to give God the glory who we'll see me through. If not this great God, I don't know what could have happened. But may his name be praised. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Um, tonight, um, maybe Daddy will permit me a little to just go deep into my testimony. A little. Um, because um, what happened is that I bless the name of the Lord. When I came to UAE, um, you know, I, I think I'm, I believe myself that... Um, I need uh, money, so I couldn't just sometimes I just say that this I, I, this is what I'm looking for. But God has His own plan for my life. That for being in UAE is not by coincidence. Uh, the person that brought me and dropped me here, I yeah I, I think yesterday I was say ah, thank God because if it is not like that, maybe by now they will have been writing some things about me on. Yes, but tonight I want to give glory to Almighty God. That was when I uh, left Nigeria, we have a lot of issues, let me say it about um, church, church generally, that affects my family. So from there, I have I condition my mind that I don't want to do anything with church. Let me, let me be. But when I got to Dubai, the person that introduced me to GKC just told me, I said, come to GKC. The day I stepped into GKC, that day I cried like, because I've never experienced staying in the best space. Uh, from the thought, I fall down, I wound, I couldn't expect it. The thing was, so I was just crying during the service. I was crying. So later, when I get on, I'm hearing the word of God, and it's changing me a little, a little, a little, a little bit. But it's, there's some things that in my family that they call it. I want barati. I want barati. They are so powerful. They come from father's side to mother's side. Then, in my deliverance on Friday, is it on Friday on, on Sunday? That's why I know that sometimes they will put somebody like that, like them, onto your way. 
They will position that person. Don't let her go this way. Follow him, follow her to this way. They will position that person exactly like them. Then I was like, what is going on? So the thing is not moving. Then for my, my brother, where I noticed that my brother is supposed to collect the, to be in charge of the Minister of Sports in Abuja. And before we know it, the thing was just like, they just dabaru everything. Ah? Then my brother was just praying that what is going to happen. Then we start praying. We start praying. Later, sometimes I tell daddy, sometimes some things I keep it to myself. But on Sunday, yeah, my God, the Holy Spirit revealed the devil from the pits. Because what I've never heard, I don't know. Because I'm not there. I'm not involved. I just came to this world on my own. And the, 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 the battle is that it's not mine. They put it on. And I discovered that this thing is not working. Then from the upset, when I traveled to Africa, my mother just told me something that um, they, uh, my sister don't want to see my mother again. I, we don't know what happened. We don't know what transpired. But last week, I was just praying. Holy Spirit was just showing me some, thing, some, some people there. Then I called my mother. I said, Mom, Mama, what is going on? I saw this person. What the, my mother explained, narrated some story to me. Then, eh, then he said that, the, my mother said that he wanted to speak with Daddy. So from there, we call, I called Daddy, Daddy. From that place, I don't even know. Yesterday, I was so happy. My sister, the one that next to me, she don't want to see my mother. She spoke, she, she said some words that even though I couldn't bear it, if I'm, I forget before, I will have dealt with her. But there's nothing I can do from here to Nigeria. Then I was like, God, you need to intervene. Now, my, I told my mama, mama, this time around, let's just begin to pray. Yesterday, God surprised me. Yesterday is our, is our birthday. And she just decided to say that, um, she called me. Yeah, sister, uh, I'm going to grandma's house. I say grandma's house. I just pretended that I didn't hear what she was saying. So when she was going, I was monitoring, calling, calling her. Then I say, where are you? Said that I wanted her to do, do a pump the tire. Then I say, okay, who is um, who is with you? He said, my son. Then when I get to grandma, he brought something to grandma. He talked to grandma. Grandma was just afraid that maybe she would be like before. But I bless the name of the Lord. On Sunday, devil was booted out in my family. He put shame on them all, all of them. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we rise up? And shall we give this our great God? I'm going to explain the testimony so that you all will know the gravity of that testimony. In this house, we serve a God that is awesome. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's give him a sacrifice of praise as we do. Let's go. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous God. He has done marvelous things for me. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous God.
Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Your excellencies, please, you are seated. Welcome to church this evening. I believe there is something very wonderful for you tonight in Jesus' name. Each time we appear before him, he's a God that is never tired of blessing his people. Praise the Lord. Thank God for divine favor. Thank God for divine breakthrough intervention. What money cannot deliver? There are so many marriages. Suddenly they just came to an end. No one could explain what happened. But for those who are spiritual, you know that some, some of these things were perpetrated by this wicked spirit. Praise the Lord. Now, the more, the, more, the more you have this understanding, the more God gives you victory in those areas. In this house, our four destiny areas must be kept jealously so that we don't suffer any uh, setback. The testimony of uh, the brother who came, Frank, about how God helped him in all the situations around him. Glory to God. And the lady will also testify about how before, just, you know, hatred towards the man that she married. How can you go to church, you wedded somebody, and suddenly you feel like you hated the person, you want, just want to walk out of the marriage. All these are never ordinary things. It's as a result of a stranger living. It's supposed to be two people, but maybe four now. From the side of the man, from the side of the woman. So, how can there be unity? You see, so, that was the situation she was in until Jesus, the Son of God. I mean, it wasn't an it wasn't a, a easy battle, but God gave them victory. So, today, the real love that's supposed to exist between husband and wife is what is existing. So, maybe you are here you understand that your wife at times you know she just come up with certain attitude or your husband you should know it's not ordinary uh you had a testimony of the jackson uh S stella stand up anytime husband and wife comes to church ushers you must not part them they must sit together i don't know why you are seated there and your husband is there huh she came late maybe looking for parking right okay come come and sit here come and sit behind the pastors today please come you you are in church with your husband your wife you must sit together <laughs> praise the lord if you have not yet married don't worry god will help you Amen. praise the lord Amen. what did i say So as you are coming to church, you wait, and the ushers also, you find out from the man or the woman, is your husband coming, is your wife coming, then there is no seat for them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. It is good for them to feel the message together, for them to exchange notes. My dear, I hope you're hearing what Pastor is saying. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So... Now, the reason we are doing that is because that is one destiny area that it's important for us as children of God to fulfill. Uh, you know, you may be successful in other areas. See, your marriage is so important. It's important to God. It's also important to the devil because the devil knows that he can easily raise seed for himself through your marriage. So you are the one to fight and declare, no, no, no. I'm going to raise godly seed for God. You know, seed for God and my generation will serve god it is in marriage you understand setting that that is made possible so there is this torso and that is why you know the testimony of that woman she, yes she loved the man but something will just come upon her she can't explain it if you ever seen a lady that slapped the husband before it is not ordinary the man slapping the wife it is not 
there is a violent spirit in the family now after the incident the man will the lady will be sober you are the testimony of jack uh, what's her name mrs jackson it's just the same thing but when the power of god comes to your family the power of god will expel that thought party then peace can reign in the family you speak you understand yourself there won't be confusion you understand it's only the power of god that can make that happen so outside of the power of god it's only struggle so we rejoice with this family today that peace finally is reigning in that family i pray for your family also and i'm praying for your future marriage future home that the lord almighty will give you peace in the name of jesus christ uh dickness funke was testifying about what happened to her that woman has been with me for maybe 15 years now 14 15 thereabout now the deliverance that god gave her that day me myself I, I was shocked i told you deliverance is in layers or putting evil family tree god is still at it it is here that we do a program for one month and we say it's over no in the spirit realm the thing is still continuing now there is a power in that family from the father's family from the mom's family from the husband's family you understand now let me just tell you one of those things that is always been perpetrated now you had she said now she's the second born in her family the mom is old now suddenly the younger sister and every member of the family that used to appreciate the mom suddenly they became their mom's enemy they will not want to see the woman again because the devil was using the image of that woman to attack the children in the dream you understand so they, they all the children were convinced beyond all doubt that this woman is evil do you understand or maybe the woman must have even gone to uh where is it now i mean the, the children must have visited places where they tell them that oh there is somebody in your life it's your mom that woman is evil so we were praying i mean i was just speaking with the mom on phone and i was praying for the woman and as we were praying this the only spirit was making me to understand that this woman has a, a, a very limited time to live and that they have already concluded and how they wanted to achieve that was for her to kill herself because they will make life miserable for her so as i was praying for her i mean from the depth of my heart i told her sit beside me as we continue to pray for for her and suddenly she screamed i was praying i was deep in my prayer our own screen woke me from my own prayer also so it was a very very uh intense deliverance now listen to this brethren your mom your parents all things being equal your mom that saw you through i know that there are some women moms that have sold out themselves to the devil there are some of them like that the, the what you only pray is for god to help you but listen generally the mom that took care of you right from the time you were a baby the influence of that mom upon your life is so important and they are there as your guiding angel to watch over you and to see you through life but in a situation where the woman is sold to the devil then what you have to do is to rise up in prayer continually until something happened in that family do you understand so the summary of what happened is this every all the children they started maltreating this woman they were not dealing with her very well they were not giving her food she was now alone and she herself here in, in dubai she can't travel home and take care of her 
So those who are, 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 are you know, in Nigeria, they, they, you know, the devil turned their back. Now, so as we're praying, the, the, the second wife, are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Is the person perpetrating all this evil? Taking on the image of the woman to scatter the family. Those that want to die has already eliminated them and the evil continue in the family. Now her testimony is this. After the prayer on Sunday, yes, eh? on Wednesday, sorry. After the prayer on Wednesday night, yesterday was the daughter's birthday. You understand? Her sister now. What she has not done in months, suddenly her understanding came back. Oh, I have a mom somewhere. Oh, I need to go and celebrate my birthday with my mom. The woman she doesn't want to see before. So she went there now, appreciated the mom, and the mom was surprised. Hey, what has happened within this few time? That is the power of God's intervention. In this meeting tonight, my God will intervene in your life. Yeah. Intervention of God is the ultimate. Now listen, if this woman had left GKC, I'm not the one that delivers people. I told you, if I were to be in that position, I would have delivered her long ago. But uprooting evil family tree came, and every one of us expected God to do something awesome. Do you understand? And God located our family. The thing that has been disturbing that family, terrorizing the family for years. And the person in question is about 86 years old. 86 years. It's a mystery. The person is speaking here, but the person is in Nigeria. So, the Lord, the King of Kings that we serve, brought peace to that family now i tell you this so what was the offense of the mom that this woman offended her by insulting her 30 something years ago how many years over 30 years they, she never forgot and that was what she was using now to torment her, torment all her children. Because of a strife between them 30 something years ago, which the children never knew anything about. So the children were born into the battle they don't know nothing about. That is how it is in life. The only exemption is for you to be in Jesus Christ and continue to pray and believe God that you will enjoy the best of life that God ordained for you. Do you understand? And that is why you don't also run away from the prayers of God. Because if we do everything, now, there was a time in the life of that woman, the devil remoted away, eye away from the church. You know what? She didn't come to church again. In fact, she had gone to join the other. Can you imagine? One day, I just picked my call, I phone, I called, I say, where are you? She came. So you know the story of that woman. I pray for you. You will enjoy peace in your life. Amen. Your family will enjoy peace. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. In any home where there is torment, where the devil is harassing people in the family, where there is no peace between husband and wife, between the parents and the children, we have an understanding that all these things are not ordinary. I'm praying for you. You begin to enjoy peace in the name of Jesus. Because the Prince of Peace cannot be in your home and there is, you know, contention. So the first thing you have to do is you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Afterwards, continue to walk with him. Then if you now begin to discover that there are things that is not consistent, do you understand? Oh, there are situations that you can't handle by yourself. Then you need prayer. You need prayer. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's the month of April and we're running with the theme. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. 
hallelujah the glory of the lord the glory of the lord not the glory of the devil the devil has his own glory he has his own he told jesus christ all these things and his glory has been delivered to me i can give it whoever i i, I wish but just bow down and i'm going to hand them over to you so but what we are considering is the glory of the lord the one that can't, you know that emanates from god that, sp that springs from him so our text is isaiah chapter 60 and reading from verse 1 2 3 praise the lord isaiah chapter 60 from verse 1 arise shine for your light is come and the glory of the lord somebody said the glory of the lord is raising upon me praise the lord verse 2 says for behold the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people but the lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen it is visible it can be seen in your marriage it can be seen over your children it can be seen in your career the glory of the lord praise the lord and verse 3 says and the gentiles shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising this is your portion forever in the name of jesus so tonight it's instant intervention service and of course commu holy communion so we're considering the topic manifesting the glory of god for instant results or instant intervention manifesting the glory of god if the glory of God is upon me, how do I manifest that glory? Now, please understand that there are situations and powers that wants to fight that glory. Such power wants to fight the glory because the glory is a threat. It's a major threat to them. When you talk of glory, you're talking of everything beautiful, everything glorious, everything, you know, uh powerful extraordinary you understand minus evil all is just beauty so if you are talking about the glory it is not what the devil is comfortable with he is angry about it he does not want you to manifest it because he used to enjoy that beauty before but now that glory has been given to you as a child of god you understand to manifest that glory so he will not want you to manifest it at all that glory upon you is seeable it's not in the cloth you wear it's a thing of the inside it says we have this treasure in earthen vessel that the excellency may not be unto any man but unto god so when the glory is upon you it's seeable People can testify about it. It can be in your marriage. People will testify about your marriage. It can be over you in your career. People will testify. Upon you as an individual, wherever you go, the glory speaks for you. Amen. Amen. So, but because we are in constant battle, you know, the devil does not want you to exhibit that glory at all because that, that glory is an, an headache for the devil. He does not want you to exhibit it. So there is always a constant battle to resist that glory. Constant no, 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 no. You are the one to stand strong in prayer and in faith to be able to subdue in order for that glory to be manifested. Praise the Lord. And listen to me, in the four destiny areas that we run with in this ministry, There is also contention in these areas also. For instance, in marriage. The devil does not want you to enjoy your marriage. That is true. That I said to you before, it does not matter for how many years someone is in, in marriage. You may be in marriage for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. We've seen marriage of 30 years that suddenly came to an end. So when you hear about so, such cases that they are never ordinary it is the battle against the glory in that marriage that the devil is fighting it is the same concerning finance so what do you do praise the lord there's a need for you to understand what the glory of god is so when we are talking about the glory of god 
God's glory is not just a magnificent display of his majesty. It is also his tangible presence and power. Praise, I love that. It is the tangible presence of his power. So when the power of God is in a place, you will know that is the glory of God. The manifestation of his power, the manifestation of his awesomeness, that is his glory. Because God himself is a spirit. You can't see God with your naked eye. But you can experience his manifestation or his presence, his overwhelming presence in the life of a person, in a community of church or believer, in a family. Hallelujah. Amen. And now, that power of God that can bring immediate change, immediate change in any circumstances, as we saw or we've heard the testimony of that woman. A running battle in the family, everybody in that family in disarray for years. And what happened? <coughs> According to that testimony, <coughs> that woman went to her village or her town when she was a baby. And this person in question took her clothing and kept it under the bed. For over 30 years. And the thing is still there. Now, because that thing belongs to her, they can easily use it against her glory. Are you with me? Yes, I'm praying for you today. Whatever has been used against you, it, it is yours, but they picked it. It could be your shoe, it could be your bag, it could be your clothing material, and the power, the agency of darkness, they are using it against you. As we pray from here today, the God that we serve will come true for you. Amen. So, the glory of God is everything about him. But you cannot experience all because we are still in this realm. Are you with me? Yes. We are limited. Oh, uprooting evil family tree. We thought we were done with it. But the Lord still continue because in the spirit realm, there is nothing like time. Time is, is, is irrelevant. In fact, there is no time in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. Amen. So, because we started that campaign, the Lord continues it with us. And there are people who have come testify about the same thing. It's just like somebody who is telling me that, man of God, do you know that even in my family, my relationship with my wife, it's not the way it used to be again because of the effect of uprooting evil family tree. That program, we're going to run with that program for many months, hopefully, until every one of you begin to testify. Amen. That testimony is yours, and the devil will not deny it in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, in Exodus chapter 33, let's just look at this. Exodus 33, the Bible says, Reading from verse 18 and 19. Exodus 33, 18, 19. It says, And he said, I beseech thee, show me your glory. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before thee, and I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee, and will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. And I will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. Praise the Lord. And he said, Thou canst not see my face, for there shall no man see me and live, because I'm a spirit. The glory of God alone can consume a person. Who among the children of men can stand to look at the sun at the peak of his glory? No. The peak of the sun at its glory can you know blind your eyes so you can't just open your eyes and look but the glory of god is more than the, the the glory of the sun because he is the one who created it are you with me now moses asked god he says show me your glory but the response of god revealed his goodness he said i don't want to kill you you can't see me and live god's glory encompasses his character the power of god is integrity Everything that makes him God 
is all encompasses in his glory you will see his glory in the name of jesus yeah. that is why we as children of men god deals with us based on the fact that you know from the level that we are mortal men he knows that we have limits we have limitation you can imagine the magnificent of god the awesomeness of god you know the mightiness of god but god says i still want to relate with you children of men i still want to relate with you okay moses said i want to see your glory you all you've always been speaking with me speaking to me but I, i've never seen you who are you because god being a spirit he has a voice amen, amen. he can speak you can hear him but you can't touch him tangibly think about that you cannot touch him in fact you cannot see his face because now when god says in genesis let us make man in our own image it's not like yeah uh, uh god god you know the image of god as it were now for instance man when you eat you it's compulsory for you to eat when you eat you want to go to the loo you want to ease yourself no god does not do that because spirits don't do that your favorite food is matoki there, there, there's nothing like that with god Oh, you have walked yourself and you needed to rest. No, 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 no. He doesn't, he doesn't sleep. He is a spirit. Amen. Amen. Now, you as a man, you are here at this place. You cannot be at the back seat at the same time. But God is here. And is in all the nations of the earth at the same time. So if you want to show his glory, for instance, he will just manifest himself. He sees everything that is happening everywhere at the same time think about that it will blow your mind in fact your air he knows how many strings of air you have the sand at the seashore he can count everything the majestic mountain put all the mountains in the world together god knows the measurement or the weight so in knowledge because he's the almighty god his knowledge is can never be compared are you with me so, but when we are talking about the glory of God, you are talking about everything that makes him. So, if he says, the glory of the Lord is risen upon you, it means that God has been so favored. You know, he has, been, he has seen you as someone that I just want to favor you. Why? Because of the death of his son on the cross of Calvary. That is what qualifies you and I to partake of that glory. Otherwise, we as human beings, we are nothing. In fact, what we deserve from him is condemnation and death. But the death of Jesus Christ brought us face to face with the Father. Hallelujah. Are, are you with me? Somebody say amen. Yeah. Now, think about the glory of God now upon you and the glory of God reside with you. When I'm praying for people, for instance, I'm saying, in Jesus' name, my voice is no longer ordinary my voice is an arrest warrant that is exactly what happens in the spirit realm so somebody i'm speaking to somebody i'm speaking just by talking alone we irritate that spirit as long as a foul spirit is there the words that i say will begin to provoke that spirit the person feels that he wants to kill me wants to beat me wants to attack me but it doesn't happen to everybody at the same time like that, you understand? But some people. How many of you remember, for those who were at uh, our Marina Center, I was ministering one day and somebody came to the church with a knife and the person wanted to attack me. Now, because of the presence of God, the presence of God disorganized that person. He couldn't carry out that, you know, that attack because of the majestic presence of god and his voice now when you have it upon your life it will show people will see it they will know that you don't belong to the same class with them i mean those from the camp of the wicked now they will know that no 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 they, you know this person does not belong to us are you listening to me yes, sir. the glory of god is all about who god is and so we as his children, he can't be your father and you are not a partaker of that glory. If he is your father, if he is your Lord and your savior, do you understand? 
we are now partakers of his glory. That's why in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, talking about different kinds of glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Now that glory is not only, uh, 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 that glory as people always, you know, uh, you know, it's, <laughs> That glory was upon Joseph. And the king was looking everywhere for him. Can you imagine that? Praise the Lord. Now let me just show you this. Isaiah chapter 60. Reading from verse, sorry, Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1. Hear this. Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 1. It says, In the year the king Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne high and lifted up and his train. That is, that train filled the temple. Now what happened? Above it stood the seraphim. Each one had six wings. With twain, he covered his face and with twain, he covered his feet and with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, and the whole earth is full of his glory. Is that true? The whole earth is full of his glory. That is true. When you get to the seashore and you look at how vast the sea and how the sea roars, that is the glory. If you see the little birds, the way they sing, the glory of God can be. Now, if you go to the book of Romans chapter 1, let me show you something there. Romans chapter 1. Reading from verse... Uh, let me read from verse... Uh, from verse 18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven... Uh, against all ungodly ungodliness and unrighteousness of man who hold the truth in unrighteousness because that which may be known of God is manifest in them for God had showed it unto them for the invisible things of him that is you can't see because God is spirit so the invisible things of God Of him from creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even the eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And it went on. It says, Because that when they knew God, they glorify him not as God, neither were thankful, but they became vain in their imagination, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became full and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and to four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore, God also gave unto them uncleanness through the loss of their own heart to dishonor their own bodies being between themselves now listen to this who change the truth of god into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever for now go with me and understand this very well for this cause god gave them up unto a vile affection for even their women okay that is not actually where i'm going okay now verse 28 And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave unto them, God gave them up unto a reprobate mind to do those things, those things which are not convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication. No, that is exactly not what I'm, that is not where I'm going actually. Okay, actually. Now, let me read verse 12 with you. Verse 12. 
that is that i may be comforted together with you by the mutual faith both of you and me now i would not have you ignorant brethren that oftentimes i was purpose to come unto you but was let either to that i might have some fruit among you i am debtors both to the greek and to the barbarians both to the wise and to the unwise so as much as is in me i am ready to preach the gospel to you and for those in rome also for i am not ashamed of the gospel of christ for it is the power of god unto salvation to everyone that believe it to the jews first and to also to the gentiles for there in is the righteousness of god revealed from faith to faith as it is written the just shall live by faith praise the lord so the power and the power of the manifestation of the glory of god as the bible says in second Corinth, uh, chronicles chapter 7 it says now when solomon had made an end of praying the fire came from heaven that fire is just a symbol it's not god it's just like liquid fire some people say why do you use liquid fire why have you idolized it that is not god god is more than liquid fire god is more than blood of sprinkling god is the almighty but that is a signature on that particular thing that he has given unto us he says i'm sharing my glory in this that as you engage this this is what is going to happen so solomon was sacrificing before god and the bible says the fire came down that fire is just a symbol it is not god himself are you with me now if you continue second chronicles chapter 7 from verse 1 to 2 you will discover the bible says and the priest could not enter into the house of the lord because the glory of god what is the glory how many of you have traveled in the air and you see something like wool something like cloud that is just a symbol it is not like it is not the glory of god itself now there are times i'm ministering here and i see something like fog you know what fog is uh -huh. and i see it on the face of people i can't even look at your faces that is the manifestation and when i see that something happened in the church that is the manifestation of his glory praise the lord now the manifestation of the glory of god is not everywhere it is where signs miracles are happening that is where you can testify and say god is there but at times the devil also pretend and fake it to people and people will think oh 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 there is power in that place the devil can fake all in fact almost everything that god has do you know that the devil can quote and unquote now give man life what do i mean by that god is the giver of life now a woman that is pregnant in the womb the devil can hijack that womb and pretend as if he is the one that, we, that is going to give that woman that that baby when the woman go to an evil priest and the woman will actually conceive so now that person will think that that is the person who gave her that blessing but it is not true all that the devil did because he's a thief he stole that and he kept it somewhere so when people come to patronize him he gives it to them praise the lord i'm praying for you i'm asking god that the glory of the lord that is seeable it's going to rub upon you in the name of jesus Amen. when the glory of the lord filled the house the temple it resulted in the power the powerful demonstration of the presence of god that is why at times when the message is going on the preaching is going on you see people crying or the man of god is attending to somebody and the person is not crying but tears is rolling out of the you know the face of the person the glory of god can overwhelm a person and you will know that that is exactly what is happening are you with me praise jesus now the bible says in that john chapter 2 verse 11 it says this beginning of miracle did jesus in canaan of galilee and he revealed his glory to his people so anywhere you see miracle i mean the original miracle now that is a demonstration of the glory of god hallelujah that is at canaan of galilee when jesus turned water into wine are you with me so anytime you see miracle that you cannot explain that is the demonstration of his glory and because god is your father he wants you and i to be the carrier of this glory so that you'll be a solution provider to people 
solution provider in the four destiny areas because this is what people are crying for this is what they are longing for all over the world are you with me yes, now the manifesting manifesting god's glory for instant intervention can only be made possible under these three uh, categories if you don't have faith you can't manifest that glory instantly what did i say you cannot manifest that glory so that is the first premise that is the first foundation upon which you manifest the glory now for every one of us here tonight you came because you believe that god exists i mean you could have been in any other place tonight but because you have this at the back of your mind that god exists and you are here now hear what bible says in mark chapter 11 mark 11 reading from verse 22 mark 11 reading from verse 22 jesus said on and jesus answering he said unto them say have faith in god tell somebody beside you have faith in god it is good to have uh do i say you have faith in your pastor uh but what the bible is saying here say have faith in god because your solution is in the hand of god your help is in the hand of god your pastor becomes a distributor do you understand as a smart piece but all solution is in the hand of god so he says jesus said to them have faith in god verse 23 it says, for verily I say unto you that whosoever shall see unto this mountain, that mountain is not necessarily the mountain uh, as you go to Fujira. Okay? The mountain can be an obstacle, a situation that refuses to bow in the family. That is an intimidating mountain. It says, whosoever shall see unto this mountain, be thou removed and be cast into the sea and shall not doubt in your heart. You will not doubt that is when you will see instant intervention of god he says and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he said you are believing god for the fruit of the womb you believe you are better hold on to god you are believing god for healing you are better hold on to god until the healing takes place i don't know if you understand what i'm saying uh -huh. so the first thing is you must have faith if you want to demonstrate that glory if you want to experience that glory of god or you want to manifest it when a person that is sick suddenly gets healed god has manifested his glory upon that person when someone that is bedridden suddenly stands up and begins to walk god has manifested his glory just as jesus turned that water into wine and the bible says this is the beginning of his miracle which he did in canaan of galilee and it showed his glory to his disciples oh 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 so with that alone you discover that anytime there is a miracle that is the glory of god and that is why we kept encouraging you when god has given you miracle of healing or any testimony run to come and give testimony that testimony is you do what you are doing with your testimony is that you are returning the glory to him and say I acknowledge receipt of this testimony so i'm giving you the glory back not any man no man deserves to take the glory of god are you still with me yes. say amen in the name jesus yes. now the glory of god for instant manifestation also can be through prayer now let's go to this account in the book of luke chapter 22 now jesus christ was about to go to the cross and the burden of the cross was upon him the bible says in uh, verse 35 okay let me read from verse 39 and he came out he went as it won to the mount of olive and the disciple also followed him and when he was at the place he said unto them pray that he enter not into temptation and he said and he was withdrawn from them about a stone cast and kneeled down and pray saying father if you be 
if thou be willing remove this cup from me nevertheless not i not my will but thy will be done verse 40 uh 43 and there appeared an angel unto him from where from heaven just the same account in that book of matthew chapter 17 he was on top of a mountain with the disciples that were praying and suddenly three personalities appeared unto him let's go to that account matthew chapter 17 from verse 1 and after six days jesus take it peter james and john bring them up into a high mountain what have they gone there to do verse 2 and he was transfigured in other words he was changed before them and his face did shine as what so they could not look at it they look at no 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 his face shone like the sun and his raiment was white as the as, as the light and verse 3 and behold there appeared unto them moses and elias talking with him praise the lord now out of that glory if you look at those other account in luke it was said that the raiment of jesus christ was so white that there is no bleach in this world that can make it white like that that is the manifestation of his glory are you with me shall we rise up so now out of the euphoria of that glory peter answered and said unto him lord it is good in this atmosphere of your glory it is good for us to be here let us make here three tabernacle one for thee and one for moses and one for elias that is why at times some of you are, how many of you have felt it before when you are in service the, the meeting is going on very powerfully you don't feel like going home that is the presence of god that is his glory are, are you with me and can you imagine not in the church now you can imagine if that is in you is resident in you that is where true fellowship with god is that is where the longing for god is like you are thirsty david said when, when can i when when will i appear before you i know that some of you travel long distance to come here you know what is pulling you it is the manifest presence of god that is pulling you it's like you want to eat kfc or mcdonald's by yourself you drive to that particular spot isn't it that is what it is in the spirit realm for you and i also so the manifest presence of god you know you is what is pulling every one of us you know before him he says come 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 and be a partaker of this glory so as we are praying his glory can be manifested healing can be released deliverance can take place instant intervention can occur because of what because of prayer so making it to now the first is what faith if your faith is so strong for a change there must be a result that is when you manifest the glory of god in that particular thing you are believing god for the devil may come against you to attack you but your faith must be strong you must not give up you anytime you give up then you have just escaped the glory the glory has just eluded you that is why we continue to encourage you the more you're on the battlefield the more the battle get intense that is not the time for you to say i think i've had enough i i, I don't even have to have anything to do with church again if that lady had given up some five years ago he said i've been coming to church now the battle in that family will have still continued you see now because god is the one that knows when is going to come through for you that is why you should continue to persist in prayer every day amen, amen. just the same way you eat every day you eat to sustain your what your physical body your spiritual life is also sustained by constant fellowshiping with god hallelujah amen. so you can experience instant intervention through prayer and through true worship now t-r-u-e true worship through prayer through true worship by giving him true worship john 4 24 you are not worshiping god in hypocrisy 
your worship becomes what? Acidic in the spirit realm. Especially the worship that is not corrupted, that is not tainted with sin. That kind of worship ascends the throne of the Father. And worship is not necessarily you kneeling down and praying every time. No. Worship is a lifestyle. What you are in the, in the secret, what you are in the open, is your lifestyle. Are you with me? So when we are saying, oh, it's worship time, and let's sing. No, worship is not only limited to that. Oh, let's lift up a hand. Let's worship the Lord. That is not, it is not limited to that alone. You are out of the church. You are on the way. You are on the road. You are in the car. You see, that is why it says to you, present your body as a living sacrifice. So that is your, that is your, uh, that is your regular life. That is, that, is, that is worship. If the devil is tempting you to do something, you understand? And you say no, you are giving God worship. If the pressure is so much on you, you understand, to, to, to say no to God, but you see, say no, I'm going to wait for you. That is worship. If somebody is saying to you, oh, you have been praying, but I have a solution for you. Why can't we go to this place? And you say, no, 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 no. I will wait for God. That is worship. You as a lady, yeah, you are under pressure. I said, no, it doesn't cost anything. Just, just, just play along. This is 5,000 dirhams. I mean, it's just for you. Just accept my offer. Look at the money. And you say, no, that is worship. Can you see that we only have few worshippers? Can you see that we have few worshippers? Because any time the opportunity to sin comes and you deny sin you have just given god a worship that is different from what you know right that is it that is why jesus says god is seeking for those who are going to worship him in spirit and in truth not just coming to church on a sunday or faith intervention service or whatever no it is what you do outside of the gathering of the children of god when there is nobody looking at you you are just with him your thought is with him all the time you are connected that is the worship so that is another way you can command instant intervention because you don't know when the answer will come hallelujah Amen. now shall we be seated psalm 22 and verse 3 says but thou art only O oh, thou that inhabitest the praise of Israel. So, when you give God worship and praise, as we do regularly, the one that you are, you are, you are familiar with, it, it, it ignites something. And what it ignites is the presence of God. It will just command his presence. He inhabits his, the, the praises of his people. That is why we are praying for our uh, uh the, the choir members and the worship team that the lord will make you to be spiritual people indeed in the name of jesus yeah. where your worship indeed becomes a weapon yeah. amen. amen now first peter chapter one reading from verse 15 it says but as he which has called us is holy so be ye holy in all manner of conversation as he that has called us is holy, you must be holy in all manner of conversation because it is written, be ye holy, even as God is holy. So, living a life of holiness puts you apart as a carrier of God's glory that can easily manifest his glory. Some people always ask this question in their mind. They say, ah, how can God talk to me? How can I, how can I also command the supernatural? It is by living and practicing the godly life. You understand? Aha. Uh -huh. How can I live the supernatural life? You are beginning to practice it. A man cannot wake up one day and say, I want to go and carry the weight of uh, 150 kg. He will strain his back. A man, he may even break his spinal cord. But the man starts from the little. Uh -huh. So that is how you and I also train yourself 
to walk in the supernatural by a consistent life of holiness with God. If somebody say, oh, pastor, are you saying that so? Does it mean that there's nobody, every one of us, uh, 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 some people say there is nobody that is holy. Everybody is a sinner. How many of you have heard people say that before? Uh -huh. It is not true. It is not true. It is the devil that wants to confuse you. Now, the holiness that we have is what we inherited from Jesus Christ. So it is not your life that God is looking at. He's looking at holiness through Jesus Christ. And so he looks at you as someone that is perfect because Jesus Christ is the one that is fronting for you. Uh, Bataille, please stand up. You have given your life to Jesus Christ and is your Lord and Savior. Look at him as the one that is ahead of you. Now you are here. Everywhere, that is what we say to you, your character must what? Reflect in. You are here at the back, but Jesus Christ is the one that is fronting for you. So wherever you, sh wherever you go, it is him that is showing. Is him, you understand? So that righteousness of him is what God is di displaying. We are not sufficient of ourselves. Our sufficiency aha. Uh -huh. So wherever you go in your, in your company, it is him that is fronting for you. That is why the issue of being born again is important. When you have given your life to Jesus, the Son of God, your life is no longer yours. Apostle Paul said, the life that I live now is the life of the Son of God who died for me. So you have been privileged now to now begin to live the holy life of Jesus Christ. Although you are still mortal. Are you with me? Yes, you are sleeping. He is still sleeping with you also. That is why no weapon, form, or fashion against you must prosper. But that character of Jesus must be seen in you. You must not deny him. Can I tell you what happened? For us as children of God, anytime your life negates the holiness of God, you know what Jesus does? He steps aside. He steps aside. Because the eyes of God is too holy, he cannot behold iniquity. In your conversation, let your yea be your yea. Before you used to be a liar. But now that you have given your life to Jesus Christ, what is it that he has taught you? He has taught you to let your yea be your yea. Your nay is your nay. By so doing, you are reflecting his image. You are not bringing shame to him. In fact, when you do that, the Bible says, you are, thank you, the Bible says you are killing Jesus Christ. You are crucifying him the second time. I pray the Lord is going to help us in Jesus' name. Amen. There are examples of instant intervention in the Bible. And there are examples of instant intervention of God in GKC. Do we have anybody in this house? You have experienced instant intervention of God in any area. We are praying. Something happened immediately. You want to testify. Although you are not coming out tonight. But you have experienced that before. Can I see your hand? Because we have a lot of examples in the Bible. Peter, I mean, sorry, Paul and his whatever they were praying in Acts chapter 16. And the Bible says, suddenly there was earthquake. They were just praising God, but suddenly there was earthquake. Amen. Amen. That earthquake is a manifestation of the presence of God. The almighty God came to the, the cell. The foundation of the jail shook. Praise the Lord. And the chain on their hands fell. Is there anybody in this place during the service or when the message is going, you have received instant healing before? Do we have anybody? You have received instant healing. That is, that is the manifestation of his glory. Now you will discover, if you think very well, you will know that that healing came about by you releasing your faith. Mostly, people have already they've positioned the man and said, God, as I go to the service today, Lord, I want you to encounter me. It is a personal resolution that connects you with your instant intervention miracle. What did I say? Your personal resolution, like the woman with the issue of blood. 
I'm going to touch him. And I know as I touch him, this plague is going to go. Now, for you to have driven your, that long distance and you are in church, that is part of the resolution. You are going not to a nightclub now. You are going to go and worship. That alone has prepared you for the supernatural. I pray for you, you will not miss your... In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So as Paul and Silas were there, the Bible says suddenly something happened. So instant intervention is, didn't end with the apostle. It is still happening in our own days. But listen to what happened. When God encounter you in a service, mostly people don't know because it comes in the spirit realm. Somebody is in the service and the person is sick. The Lord has already healed that, the root of that sickness, but this person is not aware. Oh, the person say, oh, let me wait and check for one month. Let me see whether the menstrual flow will come. But the person has already been healed. Tonight is your night. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, the last thing I want to talk about and this happened to, you know, this concerns every one of us. It is concerning how we, every one of us, we take authority to manifest the glory of God in our financial life. That is the prayer we're going to pray now. We were at the pastor's prayer meeting yesterday. And the Lord opened us up to certain things and we started discussing about this issue. And we're asking... Why is it that in GKC, all these miracles are happening? Miracles of cancer healed, you know, deliverances and whatever. But why is it that the financial life of our people is like converting? It is as a result of certain attacks because of your stand for Christ because of your consistency and the devil is not happy about that so we agree that there's going to be a campaign of continuous prayer in this regard until you begin to see changes in your life Amen. do you believe that yes. there is one enemy that we have that enemy is the devil shall we rise up how many of you agree with me that there's a need for us to come up with a concerted effort to attack the wicked one concerning your finances. You believe that? Yes, sir. You're very sure. Yes, <laughs> In whatever area the devil has been harassing your finances, the power of God is going to come true for us in Jesus' name. Amen. We, will we will continue this campaign specifically at the vigil tonight. But for us who are here at this meeting, we are still going to pray a brief prayer. The first thing you're going to tell the Lord Father, whatever that is injuring me from manifesting in your glory, it could be your lifestyle. You better repent and tell God, please help me to be a better version of myself. Whatever is injuring me from manifesting your glory, it could be something from the inside. When that thing comes on the outside, it pollutes you. You can manifest the glory. Tell the Lord, Father, whatever it is that is tainting my life, not allowing me to manifest the glory. Lord, I'm before you tonight. May I receive an encounter from you in the name of the Lord Jesus. An encounter. An encounter in the name of the Lord Jesus. May I receive an encounter in the name of Jesus Christ. whatsoever it is oh god that is pulling me down the more i try to arise whatever it is in the name of jesus brethren it is important for us to pray this prayer a lot of things a lot of battles going on in the spirit realm if you are not strong enough the pressure from the pit of hell may overwhelm you in the name of jesus open your mouth whatsoever it is that is pulling me down the more i try to arise in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let it come under the attack of the Holy Spirit tonight in the name of Jesus. 
whatever is attacking my faith whatever is attacking my faith whatever is attacking my faith whatever is attacking my prayer life my commitment my worship life whatever it is attacking my worship life whatever is attacking my the the life of holiness the life of consecration whatever it is that is the weapon the devil is using against you but brethren let's stand up in faith in prayer tonight i want to manifest his glory the glory is in already but the devil wants to corrupt it tell the lord in jesus name i present myself to you i need to manifest your glory but lord god help my faith life help my worship life i want to walk with you oh god in holiness and in righteousness in the name of the lord jesus the bible says the eyes of the lord is too holy it, it the, the eyes of god cannot behold iniquity in the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth help me father help me in the, in whatever area the devil is taking upper hand in my life lord may the devil begin to lose out from tonight may the devil begin to lose out may the devil begin to lose out lord give me victory i ask for victory i'm more than victorious from tonight and forever in the name of the lord jesus lord i walk in victory i walk in dominion dominion over my flesh dominion over my will dominion over my desires in the name dominion over my affections in the name of jesus you cannot manifest his glory if you are not dead if you are not dead to self in the name of jesus give me the grace lord to mortify my members that are here on earth in the name of jesus give me the grace to live a life that is pleasing unto you lord we commit ourselves to your hand lord give us the grace the grace we need the grace lord the grace lord we need the grace lord we need the grace in jesus mighty name we pray i have this burden in my heart and i'm saying it to the, to the lord i say god now if you are the worker if you are the one performing all this miracle in this house there is one miracle major miracle that we need in this house for everybody is a miracle of financial release now let me tell you how this thing plays out you are a child of God. You are diligent. You love God. And the devil knows your capabilities in the spirit. He knows that with the heart you have for God, with this heart, whatever God blesses you with, you are not going to be stingy unto him. And he knows that if the resources come to your hand, he knows what you are going to do it, use it for. Like some, some, like some people here, some of them have called me some of them are giving me certain money or in form of vow or check or whatever this goes for certain thing in advance it is because of the blessing of god if you don't have five dirham for offering can you do that i pray for all the covenant partners in this house i'm praying for all the titans in this house in whatever area the devil is attacking your resources we all we will rise up in faith and in prayer tonight we will declare devil enough is enough you have no authority over our finances may our finances be released by the blood of jesus christ whatsoever on against our finances against our jobs our businesses whatsoever has been done in the secret in the name of jesus we reverse it by the blood of jesus open your mouth and declare every form of attack against our finances every form of attack against our resources i know what i'm talking about brethren every form of attacks by the blood of jesus christ we stop it tonight as a church we rise up in war and we are declaring every weapon that has been fashioned against our resources against our monies in this house in whatever area by the blood of jesus we come against the wickedness of the devil 
whatever the devil has done against our jobs, against our businesses, disconnecting helpers from us, making everything to dry up in the name of Jesus Christ. You devil, you're a liar. Our businesses will not dry up. Aha. Kola Shatalia Baruata Niasia. We stand up in faith against you, wicked spirit. Every form of attack against our resources. Let it backfire tonight. Kabbalah Tosa. Mento Shagaliadia. Aha. Brethren, pray this prayer. There is a war going on in the spirit realm against our finances. There is a battle going on. But we are more than conqueror. We subdue in the name of Jesus. We destroy every attack against our jobs. Every form of attack in the name of Jesus. We destroy it. Gila tabara taba. Maraba shatarabala leba. I know what I'm talking about. We, every form of attack, satanic manipulation against my people in this house, against your people in this house. By Jalon Supeyakasha. Every every word that the devil has spoken against our resources, against our finances. Lord, there is deliverance for us. There is freedom. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Do you know why we are praying this prayer? There are some of us, some people here, you just lost your job. There is a person that I know. The person is working in a place and the person is earning at least a very good, at least over $2,000 in a month. You know what happened? The person just resigned. That is manipulation. The person just resigned. Uh, I said, what happened? Why did you resign? He said, I, I just felt like resigning. Now the person is looking for a job. Evil manipulation against my people, against your people. Father, because of what we stand for, or because of what we believe in this house, every of such evil manipulation, let the thunder of God destroy it. Amen. There are some because of their commitment and their consistency, the devil will just bring battle against them. We're going to speak. Every battle against our finances, every attack from the pit of hell, from the marine kingdom, they are saying that money belongs to them is a lie. Silver belongs to God. Gold belongs to God. It does not belong to the devil. Father, our allocation, we declare the name of Jesus, we lay hold upon it. Every attack, every battle that has been in array against our resources. Lord, look at your people. Look at us in this house. We are serving you consistently. Why must the wicked one manipulate our finances? Enough is enough in the name of Jesus. Enough is enough. Against our financial destiny. Every gang up from the pit of hell. Scatter them by the blood of Jesus. Every hands join together to frustrate us. Financially. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They come under attack also in the name of Jesus. We attack them. Look at our businesses. Look at our jobs. Every form of attack. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Evil manipulation against our finances. We destroy. We destroy. We destroy. We destroy. We destroy. In Jesus name we pray. Let me tell you why we are praying this prayer. When people go for interviews, you are even qualified, more qualified than other person. They tell you that we will call you. But why have they not called? It is as a result of manipulation. Manipulation from the pit of hell. 
the devil knows if everybody in this house everyone in this meeting tonight and those who are watching online every one of you member of this house you are financially stable the work of jesus will continue the more the devil he, he understands that and that is why they attack but i stand on this altar and i'm speaking the same god that is healing in this house the same god that is delivering i declare may you experience deliverance in your financial life i pray for you every form of attack and every evil manipulations against your resources let it come under the attack of the holy ghost this prayer is for all sons and daughters of gkc i know why i'm praying that prayer for you i know why i'm praying the prayer for you you see the bible says my house shall yet spread abroad through prosperity without prosperity there cannot be advancement of the kingdom of god i will build my church the gates of hell shall not prevail the way god built his church but now when we started the ministry it was not like this we had no facility like this but it's costing the ministry money if the money is not there we cannot meet and we cannot meet under the tree i pray for sons and daughters of gkc every attack against your resources we attack them by the blood of jesus some of you are business people the business is thriving business is thriving and your commitment you are consistent with your commitment suddenly the devil says no i don't like that commitment i pray for you every anger of the devil concerning your business every anger of the devil against your career every anger of the devil against your resources may the lord come through for us tonight in the name of jesus as we partake of the communion tonight is a communion of victory yes. brethren we are starting this campaign we will continue this prayer until we begin to see changes yes. as your pastor these are some of the things that when i wake up in the morning and i'm sitting down these are the things i'm thinking i may not be praying i'm just thinking i'm thinking listen to me ministries around the world they have two sources of supply one is from satan another one is from god the one from god is pure and genuine but that one from the from god as long as you stand strong with god the devil want to attack it but the one from the devil that one is free because you are his boy because you are the one performing his good cancer he releases it you should understand this as it is with ministry it also with individual two main sources one from the devil the other one from god so as we maintain our stand in god in holiness and righteousness the devil is fighting but as you compromise and the devil say yeah that's what i'm talking about you remember that deliverance in another another charger where that devil is saying if this person leave this ministry okay i will release the finances that devil is a liar uh, that devil is a liar yeah. every devil that wants to to escape from the place of your destiny we come against that devil in the name of jesus yeah. there are some of you have received you've had words in your mind in your mind the devil is telling you leave that church leave that ministry the reason why things is against you like this is because you are in that ministry listen to me that devil speaking in your mind is a liar yeah. i declare and i speak by the authority in the name of jesus from now you begin to experience release yeah. favor in the name of jesus yeah. new height in the name of jesus yeah. somebody shout prosperity somebody shout glory. glory that shall be your portion in the name of jesus yeah. those of you who are titers and you are covenant partners i report your matter to my god yeah. except the god i serve is a wicked god that is why we allow the devil to win over your finances but that devil is a liar 
from this moment i declare financial ease upon your lives may your finances be lubricated in the name of jesus so it is in jesus mighty name we pray let's come to the communion table this communion tonight is a communion of victory you will manifest the glory it shall be seen in your financial life life will be comfortable for you in the name jesus the son of god this communion if you call it if you like you call it ritual yeah jesus said you continue to do it but the blood of the person we are drinking is the blood of jesus christ the son of the living god i believe in that we had a testimony from uh fujera on wednesday you had a testimony by communion a woman that was beaten in a in a dream by a serpent i think that image should come today to kent i will send it to you or if you have it and the legs started getting rotten but the communion was administered in faith and the leg dried up the sword dried up under 24 hours i pray for everyone this is not ordinary this is the flesh of jesus and the blood of jesus as we drink everything the devil has stolen from you especially your finances your job shall be released by this blood in the name of jesus Amen. let's go
hallelujah in the book of Luke chapter 22 reading from verse 15 it says and he said unto them with desire I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer for I say unto you I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God and he took the cup and he gave thanks father we give you thanks it's a privilege for us to partake of the blood of your son and we are not taking it for granted in the name of Jesus Amen. it says take this and divide it amongst yourself for I say unto you I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God shall come and he took bread and he gave thanks and break it and gave unto them saying this is my body which is given for you do this in remembrance of me praise the Lord Amen. likewise also the cup after supper saying this cup is the New Testament in my blood which is shed for you for you for you and I hallelujah Amen. father we eat this night with the understanding that this blood is efficacious it is still the same as Jesus shed it at the cross of Calvary Lord specifically we target tonight communion against every oppression in our financial life the power that does not want the glory that you ordain for our finances to show and to manifest we subdue by this communion tonight in Jesus name Lord we receive releases financial releases ideas that will magnet finances ideas working ideas that the devil is attacking shall be delivered in the name of Jesus thank you father in Jesus name we pray for all believers in this please don't eat carnally eat spiritually and experience the blessings of the father Just open your mouth and speak over your life in the name of Jesus. I can't have the blood of Jesus in me. And the devil continues to attack me. I'm a winner. I overcome. I subdue in the name of Jesus. The life of God is in me. The blood of Jesus is running in my vein. In the no sicknesses, no diseases, no premature death. Every form of attack, we send it backward by the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, I stand in faith tonight and I declare instant intervention, instant answer to my prayers in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' name we pray. If there are people in this meeting this evening, you are sick in your body, receive healing in Jesus' name. Amen. Whoever came in here today sick, I pray, receive healing. Amen. That devil is a liar. I command the healing power of God to flow towards you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are praying. Amen. Somebody shout amen. amen. Please, for every one of you, wherever, whoever is a tighter or a covenant partner, kindly step to the front as we honor the Lord with our resources. You are a tighter, you are a covenant practitioner. Stand up on your feet and lift up your tights above your head in faith. Tell him, Lord, I worship you with this. The blessing of a tighter is my portion. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the Son of the living God, no attack will survive against my life against my resources i worship you with this and let the blessing of a tighter be my portion forever 
in jesus name we pray please drop your tithe and drop your covenant commitment may your hands be blessed you are watered by god you are sustained by him in the name of the lord jesus no devourer in your life in the name jesus the rest of us shall we rise up from everywhere you want to bring your offering your worship offering and your uh your welfare offering shall we go Joy overflow in my life. Sing a new song to the Lord. Joy overflow in my life. Sing a new song to the Lord. I will praise your name. I will worship you. Glory. 